Hello everyone, Man of Interest here with This Week in Keyboards. I took a break last week, so I might have an extra long episode today because there's quite a bit of topics to go through. Two weeks worth. Might go a bit fast because we have a lot to cover. But before we get to the keyboard news, check out the sponsor of this episode, Novel Keys. They're currently running not one, but two GMK sets. Check out that spotted GMK Dots, designed by Beep, as well as the retro GMK Vaporwave, designed by Natural Pack. These are two sets with a very unique look to them. I'll be talking about them in the episode today, but hey, check them out in the description down below. Oakley Doakley, everyone. Let's get started with a keyboard, specifically the Theo 60 by Wiley. Priced at $280, this is an interesting board. I think it has a pretty nice look. The plate is O-ring mounted, which seems to be a increasingly popular mounting method these days. We see a lot of boards with it coming out. Those are some pretty thick O-rings if we go by the renders. So if they keep that thickness, you're definitely gonna be really feeling it under your fingers. There's gonna be an option for a polycarbonate case and for the aluminum case, four different anodization colors. If you opt to go for a brass weight and brass plate, you can get silver or gold PVD finishes. Hopefully we get some more details about this group by as it approaches. Next up from Switch Couture is their group by for 60% POM plates as well as acoustic foam inserts that you can put between your plate and PCB. Plates are $40 and the acoustic foam plate inserts are $15. You could combo them for $50. The group I will run for three weeks with invoices head and out a bit closer to when it's going to be ending. The POM plate is 1 16th inches thick or 1.59 millimeters and the foam is 4 millimeters. If you haven't hopped on the Palm hype yet, or you haven't tried Palm as a material in any way, it might be worth trying it out if you have a spare tray mount board. I think it could be a good experiment to try out different switches, sounds, and feels. The group buy is going to end on the 20th, and I might get in. If you're looking for a 60% Bluetooth PCB, there aren't too many options in the market, but now there's another one. Play Keyboards is running the group buy for the BIOI G60 BLE 60% PCB designed by Scott Way. This PCB has a USB-C connector, supports QMK firmware, Bluetooth 4.0, a one millimeter SH connector, and supposedly it's gonna be via configurator supported. The LEDs are also south facing, which is the icing on the cake. Even without the desire for Bluetooth, the fact that this PCB is via compatible as well as south facing LEDs is gonna be a big deal for people. There's also a hot swap version for those who are into the convenience of hot swap, the group buy is going to be running until the 10th of July and costs $55 for the solderable PCB, $60 for the hot swap version. Small downside of the hot swap version, it's only going to have the north facing LEDs and there's only going to be one layout of course, but it's going to be with the 7U, 1.5, 1.57. Pretty good hot swap option. I think both options are pretty decent depending on whether or not you're willing to solder. Up next from my pal exclusive is the E7 V1 SE. It's back baby and uh, well, it's a bit different than we might have expected. First come first serve 30 unit group buy. It's already been filled up and that's no surprise considering how well the first E7s turned out. The only color available is E yellow at a whopping $4.99 and to be honest it looks a bit more orange than yellow but is a very rich and striking color. Through two rounds of the E6, E7, and the recently in production E6.5, Exclusive has been doing a pretty good job bringing boards to the community, so keep up the good work. Next is another keyboard. It's gonna be running from C3, which is the equals 0.9EE TKL. The plate for this TKL is made of iron, which is pretty interesting. They claim it'll be a good choice for tactile switches. Hmm. The plate will also be top mounted with an O-ring and there will be a gel plate between the PCB and plate to further reduce noise. There are some high camfering edges around the case and I don't think it looks too bad. The insert accent on the bottom is definitely a bit different from what we see on most boards and that USB port accent is what I think a very nice touch. Main downside, that $450 price tag since that's before shipping and PayPal fees. I think it could turn out really decently. I'm curious about, you know, trying out an iron plate, but I don't want to spend $450 to find out. 
So, if you have Ryan Norbauer's Norbaforce, you probably have modded that board to heck, or you have plans to. Well, he has another way you can bling up that board even more. He's offering PVD coated stainless steel rear cover plates. They're more than triple the weight of the stock rear cover plates that you get on the Norbaforce. So if you're ready to add more heft to your board, here you go. Two colors available, a matte black for 185 and a brushed gold for 198. These certainly aren't cheap upgrades, but when it comes to Ryan Norbauer, you're paying for that premium quality. The pre-order will be available until the 14th or until 50 units are sold, whichever comes first. Yeah, Topra modding can get pretty pricey. Next, we have the Austin by Drifting Bunnies. The Austin is a compact, full-sized keyboard. That sounds like an oxymoron. But when you check it out, that's pretty much the best way to describe it. A lot of aluminum. And the fact that it has a lot of aluminum, that's reflected in the price, which starts at $475 for a standard kit. When it does run, it's going to be a 40-unit first, first come, first serve group buy. Type angle, 5.5 degrees. Plate for now will be ANSI only. Of course, there's going to be a USB-C port, and the plate will be top-mounted with eight screws. I like the look of this board. The prices sting a little bit, but there aren't too many boards like this. Like, typically, my gripe with 1800-style boards is that shorter zero key on the numpad, but this solves that. I'm going to be keeping my eye out. Probably not my wallet, though. Okay, this is something a little more different but will bring joy to many in the community. TX Keyboards has stocked up with springs with a whole lot of weights, costing not that much. What weights are available? Well, they range from 45 grams to 90 grams in five gram in increments. So if you ever want to try out springs from TX Keyboards, there are a lot of choices to make. Each purchase will include 110 springs in a small plastic bag. But if you want to order the springs with the paraffin synthetic oil that they use to lube their springs, you'll have to order from the international link, which means paying for shipping from Korea. Yeah. Each of these springs are made from Japanese stainless steel and boasts an accuracy of plus and minus one gram force. There are also kale box springs available on the international link. Curious to try these out. I know a lot of people aren't fans of spritz springs, so these could be a good alternative to them. Up next from Vendor Zhao of the group DT.Heart is the Morgan 40. It's a wireless 40% ortholinear using the same Logitech unifying components as the Unigo 66, as well as Logitech's own OEM keyboards. This allows for a 2.4 gigahertz wireless connection. In my experience, it's a great way to do a wireless keyboard. There will be a polycarbonate cutout in the case for better signal strength and will feature a brass plus acrylic design for the weight at the bottom. I think that weight at the bottom looks pretty cool. I'm curious to see what the price will be as well as what batteries they're going to be going for. For those in a 40% market looking for a tiny 40% wireless board, keep your eyes out on this one. This will be a good pickup because Logitech unifying controllers work well. 65% have definitely been very popular the past couple of years, so it's no surprise we'll continue to see more of them, especially ones that want to start pushing the envelope of features. The Iron 165 by Voxies is an interesting board. 7 degree typing angle, full gasket mount isolation, seamless design, centered USB-C port with a daughter board, foam between the PCB and plate. The blocked upper right corner is definitely an interesting look, as it's not confined to the standard 14mm cutout of a switch, but it's actually a space so the edges are closer to the edges of the keyboard, so it's a bit of a different look right there. The bottom being one large accented chunk that shows the back will be a nice look for a lot of people, and I think it's going to be pretty well appreciated. It's a bit reminiscent of the M65A on the back, except most people, are, it's all going to be, you know, metal instead of most people going with the uh, plastic. Hopefully the price won't be too ridiculous, because otherwise, if it's not, I think this board's going to be pretty, pretty well sold. Our last keyboard to talk about is one I think has ended already by the, yeah, it's already ended by the time this video is go live, but it's a cool keyboard. It's the J80 Round 2, formerly named the JER-A06. As a Round 1 participant, I absolutely love this keyboard. Round 2 will be available in vintage white, black, and gray colors, white costing $440, and the other two colors at $420. It's a shame that the NCR colorway didn't make a comeback for Round 2. That's the one I have that has different grays on the top and bottom. 
The look of this keyboard though, absolutely classic. I think it'd look classy on almost any desk should your wallet open up for it. There is no plate at all for this keyboard. So your switches are all PCB mounted. And in addition, the PCB is top mounted. So no standoffs. And that's gonna be a really fun and flexi typing experience. Ooh, maybe, hopefully there's like a round three in the future with the NCR colorway returning, hopefully. Now let's swap gears to talk about key sets. First up, SA Bliss over at Dixie Mech. Please use my affiliate link down below if you're interested in buying the sets. This set was designed by Minterly with a base set going for 135 with okay compatibility. Of course, it's SA, so having less compatibility for that price isn't too uncommon. But at least with that base kit, we're getting some nice accents, like with the space bar, enter, escape, and arrow keys. The novelty kit is it will probably it'll probably do it for a lot of people. And of course, like any modern group buy, don't forget that matching desk pad. I'm not too big into SA, so I won't be getting this set. But I think a lot of people who are waiting for that next big SA set or missed out on SA Olivia will probably be happy enough with SA Bliss, at least until SA Olivia runs again. Next up over at Novel Keys is Jim K Dots. Designed by Beep, this set is honestly, it's, it's really grown on me. I'm not going to lie. It started out as an April Fool's joke, but now it's a real group buy. It's going. It's going great, actually. Over 500 units have already been sold. Base kit, 135, and has the compatibility you'd expect. All the legends are, well, it's in the name. Everything's either a dot or a bar, which I guess could be described as a long dot. I certainly believe there's a very unique element about this set that will draw in a lot of people. It's a form of minimalism a lot of people will appreciate. My wallet feels quite drained from GMK Olive and Oblivion from last month, but uh, for this month, oh, GMK Dots. This is unique, and I might be picking this up, even though I shouldn't, but I might. Also on Novel Keys is GMK Vaporwave. So I guess Novel Keys has some balls this month, because I don't know many vendors who'd run two GMK group buys at the same time. Designed by a Natural Pack, this is a set that features bright Pantone colors that gives you a classic 90s vibe. Yeah, this set is pretty loud. I think people may be a bit worried about how loud it is, but... Overall, it's probably going to turn out okay. In fact, I'm pretty confident it's going to look better in person and even more amazing if you can imagine it with a Miami pink colored Norbauer case. Whoa. This is probably a bit too loud for my taste, so probably won't get it, but I'm confident that Rama keycap for this is going to look amazing. So, Our next GMK set is GMK Peaches and Cream by Ren Suya. Hosted over on Canon Keys, this is a nice, cool summary set for those of you who like this delicious dessert. I think a lot of people are going to enjoy pairing this with a white keyboard. While the price is a bit higher than other sets currently running, it has a pastel coolness that you don't always see in this community. Nice orange. It's currently running on Canon Keys, who is a newer vendor in this community, but definitely seems to be doing what they can and doing their best to make a name for themselves. So best of luck to Canon Keys. I hope this is going well for you. The last key set I'd like to talk about today is an SA set that really caught my eye, especially during the interest check phase. It's SA128K for After Effect by Hawk. This set has quite a bit going on with those sub-legends, like... Oh boy. So, big draws are those optional, you know, Korean or Japanese sub-legend alpha kits, which a lot of people are going to enjoy with SA, not very common or common at all. Those side legends, though, those make it for me. They're side legends based on the shortcuts for Adobe After Effects. And while I've switched from using After Effects to something else now, I think it looks amazing. It looks really cool. And I just, I'd consider grabbing a set if I had the extra money and I wanted to like retire a board that would look good with this purple. Downsides. Production is all the way out until February, 2020. You could make MOQ at 50 units, but that price for 50 units is $266 for a base kit. And even when you go to the MOQ of 150, the price is still around $200, which is a tough pill to swallow. It is being produced by Signature Plastics though. So that's it for this extended episode of This Week in Keyboards. Don't forget to check out Novel Keys, who is running both GMK Dots and GMK Vaporwave. If you're looking for anything else on Novel Keys, use my promo code, 
Summer Switches for 5% off your order. I have some reviews and content coming out for you all pretty soon, so keep your eyes out on that. Or, easy enough, just, you know, subscribe, hit that bell, ding-a-ling-ding. -ding. Yeah, you know, you, you know guys know what I'm talking about. Feel free to join my Discord, link down below if you guys want to talk about keyboards. Um, see you guys in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.